When Eka was young, he did not have any books. He lived on a, in a small village in West Java. His first storytellers were a woman and an invisible man. Every evening after the evening prayers, Eka and his friends would gather at the porch of an elderly lady who would tell them countless magical stories. And then, of course, the invisible man, that was the radio. <laughs> Eka later discovered there were libraries, gardens of books. Now he is one of Indonesia's most prominent writers. His work is a deep affirmation of the humanity of those shunted to the margins. The exploited, the excluded, the persecuted, those who were in many countries really the majority. Eka's work has been translated into 24 languages. The jury has honored Eka Kurniawan for, among other reasons, his profoundly imaginative storytelling, the remarkable beauty of his prose, and the universal relevance of his subject matter. Ladies and gentlemen, Eka Kurniawan. Good evening. There, there are two questions uh, that come to my mind uh, more and more. This is the questions. Who is Indonesia and what is literature? I'm sorry about the drawing. <laughs> I'm a writer, but I have this big screen uh, that I have to fill with a uh, picture. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm drawing it. There's, you know, in the left side is Don Quixote, and the other one is General Suharto. <laughs> the first question arose uh, when Suharto stepped down in 1998. Uh, there, is, uh, there is a story about it. Uh, I, I should uh, tell about myself first. Like I already said uh, that uh, I grew up in small towns and uh, I went to Yogyakarta to study uh, in university. Actually, like everybody else, like, like the young people at that time, I was not interested with uh, politics. I just only uh, a middle, cla middle class boy who loved to watch movies and uh, play football and so want to become a singer, but I can, play, I can sing better. <laughs> <laughs> but when uh, I was in uh, university uh, in 1997, uh, there is a kind of uh, student movement uh, almost every university in Indonesia because, uh, you know, so the, this general Suharto is too long to be in power. Yeah, he's actually he's in power in uh, lasting the 32 years. So there's I start to learn something about politics. As uh, I, I came to uh, discussions and uh, went to the street to make a dem demonstration with other students. So finally, in 1998, Suharto stepped down, and uh, I start to think and ask myself a question: Who is Indonesia? This is a country who tried to be independent a uh, long time ago and then in the end occupy a small ca country in the East uh, Timor. Or this is a country, country where the military involved with the uh, polit civil politics. Or this is a country where uh, 100,000 people being killed in 1965. I asked a lot of these questions, of course, and when I tried to find uh, all these uh, answers, I only found a lot of uh, questions, more and more questions. So that's uh, why these questions come to me uh, un until today. <coughs> so this is the picture so when Suharto stepped down. <laughs> so we, we try to speak a lot of things. Uh, we even try to uh, talk about maybe in, in the um, public space, uh, can we talk about sex, for example? <laughs> uh, but uh, there is a second question, uh, what is literature? Actually, this comes from a more magical way. 
because it came in the library. I was growing in small town. I, I was born in village actually, and then grow up in small town. And, uh, there is no library, there is no bookstore. Like I uh, already said, that uh, I only learned about storytelling from an old woman who told a magical story, the village legends uh, about the, uh, the monster, about the uh, fairy tale, and of course from radio. And then <laughs> I come to, uh, there is, and then I found a small library, very small, it's only maybe one meter to one meter, and they learn books. Uh, the books actually kind of trashy literature, it's a horror novel. Uh, yeah, we call it uh, in Indonesia, Sastra Pichisan is a trashy novel, or cheapest no cheap novel, because it's very cheap actually. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's only horror novels, romance, uh, but the, from the city uh, library, uh, start to read, for example, Barbara Catlin. She's a good writer, I think. She's, uh, and then, uh, that's what I think about literature that, that time, uh, until I, I was 18, because uh, there is no more book than that. But when I, when I went to Yogyakarta to attend university, uh, I used to spend, uh, I used to skip my class and spend my days in library, university library, and then there's I found my own treasure, because for the first time I read Dostoevsky, I read Herman Melvin, I read almost everything, including Don Quixote. The, fi the picture more or less less uh, because uh, I think <laughs> it's very simple. Yes, it's, it, uh, just imagine it's, it's me in library. <laughs> <laughs> so that's uh, the. When I when I read uh, those word literature, I start to. Uh, uh, confused, what is really literature? Because uh, I never read something like that before. I never read uh, people who are very angry to uh, greet, greet well. And then, so there is a, um, one small bo boy who never grow up and just uh, beat the drums in the uh, when the Nazi come to power in Europe, so something like that. Uh, so this comes to me, the, the second question, what is literature? I don't know. The same thing again and again that came to my mind. Even when, when I try to find that I can recreate my own image about Indonesia, I can create my own literature, these two questions always come to me. Uh, this, uh, this, did I found the answer for those questions? I can say no. But if somebody asks me now here, uh, what I do with literature, I can tell exactly that uh, what I do with liter literature is actually my life time to uh, searching for who is Indonesia and what is literature. Thank you very much.